Hey everybody, Esme's Wild at Heart here. It's been a little while since I posted anything, so I thought I'd touch base with you. What the heck? Hold on. Can you, can you see that? I have one little hair doing an alfalfa thing on <laughs> a little curly cute. Whatever. Pluck it out. I don't have to worry about that old adage about, you know, don't pull a gray hair out. Two more will grow in his place. Oh, hello. Anyway, um, this will likely be the last update that I post before I actually get on the road. So today is T minus seven and counting. Next Sunday, I am, I am out. I am, I am on the road. Um, so I just I just wanted to touch base and let you know what I've been up to and what's been going on. Um, I have been busy, 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 probably not as busy as I could be because I have discovered the glory of the afternoon nap. I shunned naps for years and years. I was like, I don't need a nap. I don't need a nap. No matter how how tired I was, I would just push through and be like, you know, naps are for old people or naps are for babies or I'll sleep when I'm dead. I don't feel that way anymore. If it gets to be mid-afternoon and I look over at the recliner and I'm like, hmm, looks pretty inviting. I will hit that recliner and call both dogs up into my lap, snuggle with them and, um, you know, take an hour, hour and a half and, and refresh myself. <clears throat> Sometimes it backfires though. Sometimes the nap goes late and up late enough in the afternoon that I've wasted the better part of the later part of the day and then I end up getting nothing done and then I beat myself up because because that's always fun right anyway I digress if you've been following me if you watch my videos you know there's nothing unusual about that anyway so I have been busy getting things ready um, getting the trailer packed um, yesterday I started getting the bed of the truck packed and now I regret having done that so early because I put about, as of yesterday, probably about 450 pounds of gear in the back of the truck. And I went over to my daughter and daughter-in-law's for dinner last night. And man, when I drove out of my driveway, you you could feel the the extra weight. You know, I was, I was aware of it. And it dawned on me, um, Friday, I have to drive down to Burlington. So two hour drive one way, <clears throat> excuse me for a dentist appointment and I got to lug all that stuff down with me whatever but anyway that's done and I'm ticking things off my list the um, the trailer itself is almost fully packed and I'm really thankful for that and I have been driving myself absolutely crazy obsess obsessing about owner's manuals for the truck and gross vehicle weight and combined gross vehicle weight and and um, axle weight and tongue weight and trailer. <sighs> okay, way too much math for me, first of all. I'm not a math fan. But I want to be well-informed and well-equipped and know what to expect. And I've had a few friends in the area drive by. Now, most of you will recall that, um, uh, oh, it's been about 100 days now. About 100 days ago, I, I traded my... Um, my Mitsubishi um, Outlander for a Toyota Tacoma. Love that little truck. But after towing back from um, Trenton, Ohio with the trailer, I realized that it just wasn't up to the task. And despite my VIN saying it did have the full Toyota towing package, I found out just a few weeks ago that it did not. So I started researching, um, you know, I was... I was convinced that I wanted a Toyota. I love their longevity. I love the fact that you just about can't kill that engine and drivetrain. So I knew I wanted a Toyota. Started doing some research on the Tundra. So I drove down to Heritage Toyota in um, South Burlington to get an oil change done on the Tacoma. And I was only like 96 days after I had purchased it. And one of the things that I asked them to do was check you know visually check and see if it did have the engine in, engine oil cooler and the transmission cooler and while they were doing my engine i mean my oil change i walked over and um test drove the a tundra 
talked to the salesman and I said, well, it's going to depend on what, you know, what they come back with as far as what's going on with my Tacoma. I went back over to the service area because they called me to say my car was done and just as I suspected, it did not have the full Toyota tow package. So I drove my Tacoma back over to the sales side of Heritage and long story short, I drove down with a Tacoma and drove home with a Tundra. I freaking love that truck. Oh my gosh. Just the sound of those eight cylinders <laughs> and that 5.7 liter when you turn the key on. Vroom. I love it. So that's what I'll be towing with and I feel really, really confident. But, but that said, because I never run out of ways to try and drive myself absolutely batshit crazy, um, I've been making little lists like this. Can you see that? So it's upside down. No, it's not. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's backwards. Um, little lists like that and little lists like this. And if you can see it or if you could see it, that's a list of everything that has gone into either the truck bed or will be going into the truck cab or into the trailer. And beside each thing is the weight of the item because I want to make sure that I'm well within and under um, my gross weights for all three. Anyway, um, I leave next Sunday. I'm hoping to get out of here by about 8 o'clock in the morning. I do have a, uh, a reservation at a campground in Rhode Island. I'm spending the first leg of my journey in Rhode Island because I love Rhode Island and that's where I scattered my mom's ashes last year and um, that'll be warmer there than it is here. I don't know about the rest of y'all that live in New England. You know, you can look up and go, oh yeah, it's going to rain. I'm sorry, I don't see rain when I look at the sky. I see a snow sky. And I've been in New England pretty much my whole life, so I know snow sky when I see one. So I've got to get the heck out of here if I'm going to make it out of here. Anyway, so Rhode Island first, and then from Rhode Island, I'll be heading to a really lovely state park in Delaware that actually has hookups, which is, to me, that's odd for state parks. Um, and so Delaware, and then from Delaware to Assateague National Campground in Maryland, where the wild horses are. I'm so excited about that. So excited to see the wild horses. And it's it's right on the beach. Um, so that's going to be awesome. And then from there, I'm headed out to Ohio to have some warranty work done on the RV um, because there's, there's a recall on a certain item on the trailer. And Mine happened to be affected. So whatever, since I'm on the road anyway, I'll go out there and get it done. And then from there, I'll start dropping down to um, uh, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. And I'm going to be spending a bulk of the winter in Arizona. First at my place in Sedona, and then Tombstone, which is an adorable little town and is famous for absolutely nothing more than the shootout at the OK Corral. Um, but they have a really nice RV park there, so I'm going to stay there for a couple of weeks, and then I'm headed to Bisbee, Arizona, um, right on the Mexican border, like literally a stone's throw away at the Bisbee RV park. And I'll be there for quite a long time. And then after that, I don't know where wherever I feel like going, I guess. Um, so I don't want to make this too long. I will... Um, you know me when I'm driving down the road and, and Google says, stay on, you know, blah, 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 Interstate 40 for the next 376 miles. You're going to hear from me because I have nothing to do. And so I'll make a video and share whatever. Anywho, um, thank you for those who are part of my faith. Facebook group. Thank you for those who have subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you've been here to watch videos and you haven't subscribed, please do because I love to know that people are coming along on my journey and it kind of makes me feel like I have company on the road, right? I mean, I always have company on the road. Um, Bella and Casper, of course, and my parakeet will also be going with me. And possibly one other critter who I thought was about ready to cross the Rainbow Bridge. 
but he hasn't. And if anything, he seems to be improving, so I may have one other companion as well. Anyway, <clears throat> that's all for now. Um, I'll probably, I'll, you know, make lots of videos when I see really fascinating, fun, interesting, annoying, humorous things. Um, come along for the ride. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, follow the Facebook group. And I will talk to you all again really, really soon. Stay warm if you're a Vermonter. Bye.